What we do here is go back, 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 back. Here we go. Roll. All spots over there. Where are you going? <laughs> Dog, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? You. Look at where I'm going. I'm right close. Hand me that pie, though. I've always wanted to get this pie. Palm kernel oil. It's off. It's dead. Enough for <laughs> all of us? <laughs> four four and a half day. pounds of chicken for a day. It says it's in the main hall. The glamorous life. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? Wednesday morning, the 12th of July, lightning storm looked like a possible tornado hail on the, the uh, high school site. This is uh, fairly legit rain. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're gonna start checking everybody in so when this weather goes away, we can get to business. So it's gonna be okay. Good turnout. It'll be fine. Thanks for extra awesome. <laughs> We've got a, possibly a gym for you. And do a very shortened warm up. So, Coach Smith, Rucker Smith, this is his biggest accomplishment is that he is the head coach of Heritage Throws Nation in Southern California. He also is a three-time world medalist. He's the Dutch national record holder in the shot put. He has a 71-foot shot put PR, 222 discus PR. He's the only guy in the history of the track and field to medal at the world championships in both the shot put and the discus at the same world championships. Only guy ever, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to explain the six pillars. Pillar one, so what he's doing, he's creating tension from his left foot to the discus and you see that stretch. We're setting up stretch reflex. At Jay, go pillar two. So pillar two, okay, so pillar two is what we refer to as setting up maximum power. When we go to pillar three, we drop in the left side system has started to work from the back part. So pillar four is what we refer to as axis transition. So you guys, this is where you come around. Pillar five is basically what we refer to as locking down power. Go ahead, Jay, pillar six. So now he's going to move into his block. He's going to try to drive his right hip through further. He's collapsing his foot a little too much. First drill is really simple. We just focus on this position setup. So let's go. So we go set up to wind one. All right, so now put it, put it all together. Just think, now think of a full throw, because this is what most kids miss. Think of keeping the arms apart and just wind the upper body around the lower body. Flat on the ground. Yeah, that was good. I like that. Yeah. 
Good job. So the first drill we do for pillar two is we turn the left foot. Now I'll reverse it for you guys in a sec. I'm gonna start here, and we're just gonna do what we call the center of mass shift. Eight forty-five sweep. We just want to make sure the foot is turned at eight forty-five. We're gonna stretch, right? We've shifted our center of mass. Notice when I keep reaching. See how I should naturally roll on the toe. So what I'm gonna do is stay at that pillar two position, and we wind and we feel this from here, and we feel that. Twist and cross. Notice that's why, because we're twisting our hips. Boom, all right? Pillar five is staying on the angle and moving to pillar six and then attacking and starting delivery. Oh, thank hey, how you, you doing? Good. Eric Johnson, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. That's good, man. Oh. I, like, I like what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Bang, 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 bang. Busting the Eric Johnson over here. Love the grind. So uh, our plans and hopes for fantastic weather have failed. It has uh, been absolutely, the forecast kept changing. It was gonna be clear at nine, then it was gonna be clear at 10, then it was gonna be clear at 11.30. Now it is 100% chance of rain <laughs> pretty much the rest of the day. Yeah. A little bit rougher. It, everybody was here, they're not afraid for, uh, for a yeah. thunderstorm. More upright, long, and I'm just here. Into the wall, long to short. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna put together the South African, which is technically like pillar two and a half, okay? Two and a half through six. And you're just going linear and trying to go rotational, but you can't get in there. Pulling me into the throw to create a bigger sprint, okay? On pillar two starts, let's see what you got. Nice and controlled. Now we're gonna to put together our pillar, pillar one start. Okay, Rucker's gonna demonstrate his wind up again. Okay, go ahead. Okay, ready? All right, watch his start. See how he's kind of static? Selves a hand, because you guys did a great job today. All right. I Yay. It. Thanks so much. When you stay here, the left side, this this is you you're creating this this whip, right? And so from here to here creates so that stretch. It, it's this. So finished up first day, great day in terms of how the camp actually once it went off, 100% attendance, total downpour. We talked about that a little bit at lunch. Finished up the day with uh, the pillar connection work. How's the ring feel? Looks like it's kind of dirty, right? It's, I think it's a mixture of that from walking through it. Okay. Just want to make sure you don't slip. <laughs> I drill real quick. Okay. That's it. So it's going to always be heel up and then drill. So you're turning that foot like you're drilling a hole in the ground. Right side, that's nice. Look at that. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, pretty nice. That was a good sesh. Kid's an animal. You'd be Grandma Erite. 
We had uh, our stud, Nick Lemke from Waukesha, Wisconsin. He was down, um, grinded all day. We went out and did a private training session for an hour. Field was totally soaked. Um, Stan and I stood out there barefoot because in order to walk around the field, I was in ankle deep water. Um, so at any rate, we're back at the Airbnb. Mom, mom's here. You can come on in. My mom wants to be shy. So my mom lives here. My little mom is coming in. We're gonna have some pasta and uh, some, uh, let's see. We're doing pesto and chicken and pasta and meat sauce. So say hi to everybody, mom. You can't you can't be in Chicago and not stop at the stop in town. So we drove around, did all the cool spots, checked out downtown, Magnificent Mile, Wacker Drive, drove up onto the north side where I used to live, checked out some of my old neighborhoods. It was pretty wild. Uh, totally got lost in the the uh, stroll down memory lane. I haven't been to Chicago in about seven years, um, so it was uh, it was pretty cool. Drove by Wrigley Field and then uh, headed back. So now just. Uh, Gonna get to bed here shortly. Gonna have a hopefully a good day. Hopefully weather holds and we don't have the apocalypse part two come tomorrow. But uh, at any rate, um, been a lot of fun. And uh, but I'll be looking forward to wrapping up the day and uh, getting starting to get into chill mode. And looking forward to getting home, seeing my kids and my lovely wife, Mrs. Arate. She uh, killed it coordinating everything and really helping uh, make the tour a, a success. So at any rate, uh, one more day to go. So it should be fun, uh, should, be, uh, should be good stuff.